Hi, this video is here to help you recognise and use square numbers and the mathematical symbol. A square number is the answer you get when you multiply a whole number by itself. For example, 4 multiplied by 4 equals 16, so 16 is a square number. If we use counters to make an array showing four rows of four, we can see why it's called a square number. Some other examples of square numbers are 36, which is 6 multiplied by itself, and 100, which is 10 multiplied by itself. When we multiply a number by itself, we can also say that we square it. 4 times 4 is 4 squared. We use this mathematical notation when squaring numbers. We could write our original number statement as 4 squared equals 16. How would we write a similar statement for these arrays? Pause here and have a go. This array represents 6 squared, which is 36. And this one represents 10 squared, which is 100. Can you use your times tables knowledge to complete these statements? So how did you get on? Brilliant. For the final challenge, can you fill in the missing numbers in these number statements? I hope this helped you understand square numbers. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out? Hi, this video is here to help you recognise and use cube numbers and the mathematical symbol used. A cube number is the answer you get when you multiply a whole number by itself twice. For example, 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9 and multiply by 3 again equals 27. So 27 is a cube number. If we use cubes to make an array showing three rows of three and then make the array three cubes high, we can see why it is called a cube number. Another example of a cube number is 8, which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. When we multiply a number by itself twice, we can also say we cube it. 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed. We use this mathematical notation when cubing numbers. We could write our original number statement as 3 cubed equals 27. How would we write a similar statement for this image? Pause here and have a go. This image represents two cubed, which is eight. Can you complete these statements? How did you get on? So five times five is 25, and then multiplied by five again is 125, and 10 times 10 is 100, and then multiplied by 10 again equals 1,000. Well done if you got the correct answers. For your final challenge, can you fill in the missing numbers in these number statements? So, 1 times 1 equals 1, and then multiplied by 1 again makes 1 still. And 4 cubed is 4 times 4, which equals 16, and then multiplied by 4 again to make 64. Well done if you got the correct answers. I hope this helped you understand cube numbers. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?